Yo, what's up? It's Ronnie Brown back with a vial. Yo, that Nipsey Hustle drum was banging. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got good taste. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me ask you this. Who's your, who's your favorite rapper? Uh, it's hard to pick one, yeah. but... And I'm on the East Coast, but you know, Tupac is my favorite. Oh yeah, I, I, yeah. you know, yeah. I have many, right. but Tupac. definitely listen to Tupac yeah. probably every yeah. day. Yeah. Of day. <laughs> but you know, Tupac wasn't just a rapper; he was a poet, you know, poet, right. an actor. He had a lot going on. He wasn't just a rapper. Right. So we got that many things going on. And I love some Kendrick Lamar. Let me know. Oh, yeah. that out. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yes. I like that. So what song you got? Um, which one? The one that's, that's going crazy. The newest, crazy. yeah, not like, not like us, us, but you got to get into yeah. it. Like yeah, not like us. I love that, you know, I love that video, too. Yeah. They were dancing <laughs> in there, tripping, walking and that's all LA, listen. Yeah, that's, that's, that's LA all the way. Right, all the like, way. Okay. Now, let me ask you this. If you, we got, we got somebody six years old, right? Mm -hmm. Six. Looking at us right now, on Air 247, and they were like, wow, wow, I like what she's saying. I want to be a singer one day. I want to be on a stage. What advice would you give them? Mm, six years old? Six. Just to focus on school and development. Mm -hmm. um, if you know what that gift is already and you know you have it, mm -hmm. always use it. Just mm -hmm. always, even when your mom says, shut up, I'm tired of you. Mm -hmm. you just always use it. Mm -hmm. You know, sing, rap, write, paint, mm -hmm. whatever you do, mm -hmm. always do it. Right. You know, so that you can mm -hmm. get great at it. Mm -hmm. Study the greats, mm -hmm. you know, and just just know that one day you'll get there. You just got to stay focused. You definitely have to be mm -hmm. educated so that you can take care of your own business. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, you know, that's good advice you know, right. coming from a beautiful woman like you. Mm -hmm. So, look, check this out. If you had to go on, go on tour, you'd be like, yo, I'm going on tour. You know, I mean, I'm not opening up. I am the tour. Mm -hmm. I'm that girl. And what artist, just one artist, what artist would you bring on tour with you? Oh my goodness. Who would I take on tour with Oh, wow. Can't take Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> would they have to be like. I anybody? I don't know because, like, if I'm on tour. Right. That means I've like excelled, and then there's probably somebody coming up after me because it wouldn't be an artist that's, yeah. you know, yeah, it wouldn't be like a jazz or Sullivan. That's who I would want to be on tour with. But. If you that, if you on that level, believe me, people are going to do stuff with you. Yeah. They're gonna be hitting made up. Yo, wow, you no, know, I need her. She, you know, cause you, you know, you're saying it's real. I'm gonna mm. say this. I mm. would more than likely me knowing mm. me. Um, I would probably reach for somebody that's. Aspiring, mm -hmm. somebody that needs the exposure, somebody mm -hmm. that. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, you yeah. hope them out. Exactly. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Give it back. So, you know, doing that. Right. So, I'm from Philly, Southwest. Philly, um, you're from two places, right? South Central. South Central, right? <laughs> now, we got a lot of youth watching this show right now. Yeah. And it's a lot of killing in Philly, man. They be like killing people like nothing. Yeah. And I need somebody, to, somebody your stature to preach to them Ooh. and tell them how you feel about stopping the violence around the whole world. Mm, that's a big question. Yeah, what you gonna do? Um, I just, I can't talk to the kids, I have to talk to the parents. All right, oh, and, okay. And you know, just, mm. you gotta you gotta be a parent. Mm. You, gotta, you gotta nurture them, you gotta never give up, you gotta mm. just fight mm. for them to be productive and respectful adults mm -hmm. you know you got to fight for that and right. it takes a lot of a lot of sacrifice in your mm -hmm. own wants needs mm -hmm. anything that you have going on to put that energy into your children and make sure that they're doing the right things and they're in the right places mm -hmm. you know whatever sacrifices you have to make to keep them in the right environments okay. just be a good parent because that's that's we're sending them out into the world whatever you whatever you bring up that's what we got to deal with mm -hmm. so wow, that's yeah so let me ask you this um, you're the president of the United States. You guys just got, you know, voted in after Thomas Harris. Yeah. Like, you're the second black woman, America, African, beautiful woman, to take from over her. Right. And you're making the speech to the whole world. What's that, what's that speech about? <laughs> oh, we never expected this kind of question. Um, I honestly would have to... You're on the podium! 
Yeah, it's it's so much going on in the world. Like I don't know. I really don't know. It's touchy when you talk in yeah. politics. So yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. religion and politics. Yeah, it's a little touchy. I mean, but that's that's a deep question, and I don't want to just, you know. I mean, mm. I would like to think about something like mm. that because I really don't know. I don't okay. know what my approach would be. Wow. Yeah. Now you you say you write you know you write your rhymes. I mean, not rhymes. You write your songs and all that. Uh, you have to have a special talent to do both. Cause not like even the artists you name, Nita Baker, J you know Sullivan, Jill Scott, got writers. Yeah. And for you to write your own songs, that's special. 